Hello, and welcome to the Mayor's Monthly Message. This month, I'm switching things up a bit and visiting the freshly renovated and recently reopened Senior Center. I'm here today with Claudia Torres, Community Services Supervisor. She oversees the center and will be our tour guide today. Claudia, can you tell us a little about why the center was closed for so long? Thank you, Mayor. We're excited to have you. During the pandemic, we closed our doors March of 2020. During that time, we took advantage of the closure and we began some of our renovations. But why explain it to you when I can show you? Come on in. Our first stop is the biggest and most bustling room at the center, our auditorium. This space is used for everything from serving and enjoying meals to holding events like our upcoming Luau. And we can't forget about one of our favorite activities, bingo. Some of the renovations that took place in this room include new flooring and modifications to our stage and ramp to make it more accessible. Next up, we gave the mayor a quick workout in our fitness center. We have a variety of machines that are free to use for our senior participants. In this space, new flooring and new shelving was installed. The fitness equipment was also repositioned to make it more accessible so now participants that use walkers and wheelchairs can use the equipment more easily. For our next piece, we visited the Multipurpose Room 1. This is a space where our seniors can enjoy a rousing game of bunko, gin, or any other card or board game of their choosing. We are located right next door to the San Bernardino County Library, so we removed our old, dusty bookshelves that used to be located in this space. But we kept our magnifying device to make reading books with small print a little easier. New flooring was also installed in this room. The mayor snuck a quick email to a resident as we toured the next stop, the computer lab. Our computer lab has six computers with internet access that participants can use free of charge. They also have access to a printer and six sheets per day. This room also had new flooring installed and the computers were rearranged to make them more accessible for those in walkers and wheelchairs. This room is a place for our crafters and creatives. In this space, seniors can take art classes we offer or work on their own crafts, like the two participants we ran into who are working on their fabulous quilts. In addition to new flooring, this room also features a brand new accessible sink. Our last stop is the pool room. This is a popular room as you can see, but especially on Tuesdays when we host a weekly tournament. We get players from all of our surrounding cities because this is a great room. Our tables are in excellent condition. We also have new lighting, new flooring, and new shelves. Wow, thank you so much for showing us around today, Claudia. I'm so proud to know that our city has a booming senior center offering great resources, activities, and events to our senior community. Before we go, do you have any last tidbits to share with us? Week of August 16th, we are celebrating Senior Appreciation Week. We will have cupcakes, ice cream, and a little something for you to take home. I hope you can join us. That's it for this month. If you have a question about the city or a suggestion for a topic you think we should cover in my next monthly message, email it to questions at cityofchino.org. Thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you again next month.